Uh, Whiskey Life Dublin 2024 together with Kevin, round 10. <laughs> right, I thought it was round 5. Round 5, is Okay, it? that's all right. Don't what worry. Happened to, what happened well, to... Well, if you subtract the two... Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, don't worry. Sorry. So, right, We're here in Dublin. global brand ambassador. Still, have not been fired. Hey, Jesus, how are you? Very, very good. <laughs> Yeah, we did. We did. Thank you very much. Look at you. You've got the nice coffees and everything. The security guy let us in. You're dead right. You've earned it. This lovely lady brought the wolfhounds for Tullamore okay. Dew because it's on the new pack. Yeah. So they brought the wolfhounds. The new packs are looking very nice with them. So it's on everything, really. You see it on the barrels, too. So oh, yeah. We're giving the wolfhound the biggest wave we can. Perfect. See you in a bit. Should we start again or should we continue? I think we keep going. It's gonna, right, it's gonna be a, one of those days. <laughs> now you have a new logo, basically. Tell us a little bit about this. Yeah, this pack. is our new pack. Yeah. So the bottle is significantly lighter. Right. Uh, we've removed the foil cap that wasn't okay. sustainable, so right. the whole range is yeah. changing to these style of bottles. Okay, very good. Uh, Irish Wolfhound front and center. Yep. Yeah. A lot of people Great. didn't realize we're as old. It is much lighter. Much wow. lighter. Yeah, thirty percent thereabouts. Yeah. So. All right, very, very good. Want to liquid make sure is the same. liquid is the same, yeah. Which of the packaging has been changed, more environmentally friendly, more sustainable. So yeah, we have our normal ball range. Tell us a little bit. We're going to bring that out across the entire right. range. So okay. every Tullamore Jew will have that Wolfhound centrally located okay. on the pack. Why? Uh, the Williams family used to have Wolfhounds. They were on the old uh, cap. Okay. They were on lots of versions of the old yep. label. Yep. They're pretty so integral to the history. The right. um, so not only were they on a lot of the packs for 70 years, mm -hmm. but they were used by the family. So right. the family had Irish Wolfhounds. I have yeah. pictures of the, the Williams family okay. using the dogs in the 1950s. Right. Okay. So it's a, a symbol they feel perfectly replicates it. Yeah. And now the Irish Wolfhound is going to be on the Irish passport from next year. I did not know that. It's okay. uh, The harp is getting the boot. Right. Oh, the harp's getting the boot. And here comes the Wolfhound. Very good. So which we're is still pretty recording, so it's okay. All right, good, good. No what problem. would you like to try? Yeah. We'll, we'll pass Is anything it. smoky? I don't. We don't do smoke. We're all clean. Clean. Yeah, we don't do any anthracite smokeless fuel, so we don't use peat. The rum cask. Yeah, of course you can. You're okay. There you go. Rum raised and ice cream, toffee. Delicious. Huh? Ice cream and toffee? It's like rum raised and ice cream and toffee. They're kind of the tasting notes. Nice. Excellent, excellent. So yeah, that's where the Wolfhounds are. Right. Ancient symbol of Ireland on the passport. Williams yeah. family used to have it, and we right. love them, so we put them on the pack. All right. So we have the 14 we have here, which was what, last year released, or the year before the 13th? Uh, a few years ago, a yeah. A few years ago, I like that a lot. Very, it's very, very nice. Good. But I have a secret stash of goods here over here. What is this? We just have some pot still cast yeah. samples. This is some uh, eight-year-old virgin oak. Right, so how long has the distillery been in, has been commissioned? Ten years ago now. So this is eight-year-old stock from your new distillery. Yeah, new. yeah. All right, and it's a um, pot still. All right, excellent. Yeah. Very, very good. And yeah. I'm going to smell. You can, of course. This is now made entirely at the distillery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When would you say you switched from, from sourced uh, to yeah. your own stock for that? It's kind of a few years ago exactly. now. Exactly. Yeah, like so and everything that, like this, this was all from our distillery right. and then obviously... Well, we not yet. Yeah, in time 14, we're going to bring right. all of it online. All but right. I mean, this is the bulk of what we sell, right. so now that yep. we're producing that, we're pretty happy. All right. What do you think of that pot still smell? I, I like the smell, very deep, rich. Yeah? Yeah, very, very good. So this is just Phoenix, you've had okay. this before. Oh, Phoenix, all right, very, very So good. some cast sample. No, 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 definitely okay. not. Okay, no. I was gonna say, I got a lot of friends that like that. Yeah. 55% back then, right? 55%, and yeah. Here, this was the Phoenix. Phoenix as well, yeah, they're just cast okay. samples of Phoenix, so That's I brought good. them because Whiskey Live Dublin is the one time you'll get asked a yeah. hundred times for... Okay, got it. I'm asking everyone about water. So in Kentucky, they like hard limestone water. In Scotland, they like soft water. Ireland, what, what, what type of water do you use and why? Can you answer that question or am I getting too nerdy for you? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. What, what is the general consensus so far? I've had everything. Everything. Had, some people in the north have limestone water, which I love because of the, 
the yeast loves it for that, but we have to use re reverse osmosis when we cut the whiskey down, so that doesn't matter. But in the distilling process, it does matter. If you have soft water, it's great for the machines because they don't clog up. Think of your, your, your tea Calcium kettle. deposits, <laughs> yes. Exactly, and then it depends on what you want. That's why you have no idea, that's okay. No, I think in our distillery, it's not something we... When you, we take it's water from... Well. well, we take it from the Steve Blue Mountains, right, so the River right. Claudia. Okay. So, uh, but the region of Tullamore would have a pretty hard water. Okay, all right, right. Uh, so lots of calcium yeah, in the water. Right, which is good. Uh, but we would use reverse osmosis to strip right. out a huge amount of that. Yeah, yeah. So there's nothing that's going to taint the liquid or any different right. way. So I don't think we have a particular preference for a certain style. Um, we deal with the water we have. Yeah. We take it from a good water source we've been yeah. doing for quite a long period right. of time. That would be my take on it, yeah. Okay. Very, I'm interested to hear what people think would be a benefit otherwise. <laughs> so you have to watch all 60 of my videos. I will, I'm <laughs> I interested. Might have to, like a little short for you all put together there. Yeah. <laughs> a montage. Yeah, a montage. Yeah. So that's good, that's good. We can visit you, the distillery tour. Yeah. Do you still only have the massive tour or do you have a short tour as well for 45 uh, minutes? No, so seven days a week we do yeah. an hour and uh, 45 minute yeah. tour. Yeah. And then the summers when we're busy, they do a 30 minute tasting, ah, right. which is just for kind of groups coming right. in at certain times. That's only during peak season. Yep, yep. Gotcha. Um, and that's just because we had so many people who were turning away and we yep. felt bad. Yeah. Um, but ideally we don't want to do that. We want people to see the full right. distillery, the full tour. And uh, a lot of German guests still coming through, which is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah all northern Germany <laughs> seem to be the big drinkers of Tullamore. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you hear the accent every day in the distillery. I'm so. sure you do. It's a great place to visit, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, the distillery tour is probably one of the best in Ireland. All right. <laughs> very, very good. All right, so nothing new or something in the pipeline you can mention? Everything new is all about the pack and what we're right, refreshing. Right. Uh, Tullamore Jew is on, honey is on fire. Uh, yep, true. Uh, we've sold two million bottles now, so wow. it's pretty sensational. Yep, yep. Honestly, we're just trying to keep the liquids we have and doing it really yep. good advertising, promoting, sampling, getting people to try it, phone activations, tastings. Yep, yep. I think that's really important for us now. We've got such a, a wide spectrum of whiskies. Yep. I think we need to be careful we don't start flooding oh, the market yep. with too many things. We want people to drink our whiskey, not have it sit in a shelf, so... Very good. Yes. Whiskey Jason here, together with... Tell them more, Kevin. Bye-bye. Adios. No. <laughs>